Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. Today I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make a sausage for my family. I'm gonna use some of the ingredients I have at home, but I'm gonna show you how easy it really is to make this stuff and how cheap it is. So everybody knows what TVP is, right? Okay, I buy a large bag and this is the brand that I use. It is a fast way to use vegan protein instead of eating animal products. You could turn this into minced meat. There's so many things you could actually do with TVP. So this is just a faster way of making an alternative protein dish. Like I said, you could use this and turn it into a quick minced meat. It's already prepared for you. All you have to do is put it in a pan, season it up, and you've got instant minced meat. I put it in sauce, you could put it in tacos, there's so many ways you can use this. You could also use this to make sausages. I also use this sometimes when I make my stuffed olives. And it's just a fast way of doing things. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to rehydrate these pieces so they stay nice and moist. There we go. And to this I'm going to add about a cup of this. And we're going to add liquids to it to rehydrate it. So I'm going to use about a cup. There we go. Uh, they have different types of texture protein. Some are a little bigger than bits. Some are a little smaller. Some are a little darker. Some are a little lighter. Basically, they're all the same. To this, we want to add some kind of liquid. Now, if you put too much, you're going to make a soup. You don't want to do that. So I'd rather add a little at a time than overdo it. So to this, I'm going to add some olive oil. Now, if you're trying to do fat-free, leave it out. I'm going to use a little bit of coconut oil and a little bit of olive oil. There we go. Just a little. I don't want to overdo it because I'm trying to stay away from fats also. So that's about a tablespoon, a tablespoon and a half. There we go. I'm using organic virgin coconut oil this will have the taste of coconut oil but when you add other ingredients you really won't taste it but if you don't want this cold pressed coconut taste i say buy the refined coconut oil that's up to you i don't mind the taste and you really won't get that coconut taste because of all the other things we're going to add to it now i'm just showing you how easy it is to make sausages so i'm going to put about a heaping spoonful that's like maybe two tablespoons of coconut oil. Remember, you don't have to add fat to this if you don't want to. Now to this, I'm going to add mushroom powder. And that's going to add that nice earthy taste. And I make this myself. And then I put these little dry sacks in there to keep it from not getting too much moisture. But this is shiitake mushrooms. I like the shiitake. I like strong tasting mushrooms because it gives it that nice earthy taste. If you can't find it, any mushroom that you can find, I would say dehydrate them and then turn them into powder and you can use this in everything. We put this in my sauce. I put this everywhere. So here we go. I'm going to use one, two, tablespoon of my shiitake. I am going to use one tablespoon of agar. Now you're saying why are you putting agar in this? Agar kind of forms like a gel in your meat, kind of binds it up even a little more. I am using the stampede, smoky stampede. That's the one I'm using right now. It's a president choice. I'm going to use about a quarter cup of this. We're making sausages, guys, so we want that nice smoky taste. You could also put a lick of smoke if you have. I'm going to add some salt to this. You want it that it has some salt to it because we are making a sausage so we're gonna add just a little bit of water not too much you could add hot water if you want a little at a time guys because when you're making this I mean I'm gonna give you approximately what I'm using but when you're making this you don't want to make soup you want this to pick up those liquids and to swell up on you 
Okay, so we have the salt. We're gonna add some cracked pepper. Actually, I have some pepper already grounded for me. There we go. Okay, so we're just gonna put a little bit of that. I say about maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. You know, my teaspoons never are teaspoons. As you can tell, I can add just a little extra liquid because it is drinking it up. Remember guys, this is how I cook. I mean, I'm going to give you approximately what I'm using, but I'm not sure if I could give you how much liquid I'm using because I'm just plain by ear. You see, I added liquid, yet there's no water at the bottom of my pot and this is swelling up it's still you could feel there's still like a crunch to it you could feel that it's not hydrated yet you can taste it it still crunches under your teeth that means you still have to keep adding liquid to it okay we're gonna add some of my daughter's sauce I'm gonna do one Two. Now, if you don't have any pasta sauce, I guess you can use like ketchup. I might even add some ketchup. Maybe a tomato puree if you have. You could also use, um, look how much it's growing. I'm not sure if you've seen how this is just like swelling up because it's just sucking up all the liquids. Tomato paste. You can use some tomato paste if you have. The whole idea is that when you touch this or put it in your mouth, it shouldn't be crunchy we will add more water that's for sure so we're gonna put some chili because I don't have any small kids actually my grandkids are coming but they could handle a little bit of chili you could even put little dices of hot pepper if you want so you get those little bits okay is that a teaspoon I can't even tell that's a half a teaspoon so I'll use two of these okay so there's one there's two here we go so we put some garlic there. We're not going to put onion because I want to fry up the onion and then add it to the sausage later on. So you have those little wet, almost like as if you're having little fat bits in between your sausage. I don't want to put the onion when it's raw because it won't give you the same texture. You want to be able to put it once the onion is cooked. So keep checking this, it's getting there, but we will be putting this on the burner just so that agar activates, a little extra salt. Remember salt, guys, you put what you like, but I will put just a little bit, just like a pinch of clove, and I'm going to put a pinch of nutmeg, here's my nutmeg. Not much because this is going to give it that Christmassy taste otherwise. Well, for me, anyhow, maybe you guys will like it, so, you know, you can put what you like in it. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit in my taco mix. Very little, though, because otherwise we're going to have a Mexican sausage, and I don't want that. But I like the spices that are in here, such as the chili and the cumin and if i put too much cumin my husband's not going to eat it and i hope he doesn't watch this because he's going to know i put it in there so i'm just going to put a half a teaspoon of my mexican spices now if you want to know how to make my taco mix i have a video showing what i use and i always make batches of it and i keep it always on hand okay I would say this would be about a tablespoon of, yeah, there you go. This is a tablespoon of miso. And that's going to add that nice cheesy taste that you get to the sausages. So I am going to add just a little, not a lot. Remember guys, less is more. Let me taste it. Because, you know, sometimes I go over my head. Oh, my God. This is so good. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm going to put two tablespoons of miso. I impress myself sometimes. This is how I cook, guys. And when you get a recipe, it's because I wrote it down for you. Otherwise, 
I'll probably never taste this sausage again because I always make things from scratch. You see? It's easier. And we're going to put some Dijon mustard. I'd say about a tablespoon of it. Okay. I will have to add extra water again. But do you see how this is growing, guys? It's just swelling up with a little bit of water I keep adding. Oh my God, I wish you could taste this. Well, if you make it, you will. Just an extra squirt of barbecue sauce. That's like maybe an extra two tablespoons. Okay, so I am going to put this on the burner. A little bit of water, not a lot. Okay, so this way I could get that agar activated, guys. So here we go. I have it on low. I'm going to bring it up a bit. I'm not sure if you can see it very well. As you could tell, there's very little liquid at the bottom. I want to activate the the agar so I have it on a low lowish heat I'm going to keep stirring it and hopefully that gelatin will activate itself if you find your TVP is still a little too soggy you could always add more that means you have an extra sausage guys so it's not the end of the world you don't want to have it high because this will stick because there's hardly any liquid in here. You just want that agar to get activated. Okay, so we're going to keep doing this for a few minutes. I'll tell you how long it took me to activate it. Meanwhile, okay. just don't burn it. But you want to get that agar nice and activated. See how it's heating up, but yet nothing sticking. Okay, so that's good. I'd say about a few minutes. Give it like four minutes of a good mix. And as you could tell, there is no liquid in here whatsoever. But look at the amount I got from what I started. Perfect. Here we go. I'm sure the agar is nice and activated. I'm just going to put that aside. Okay, I'm going to fry up some uh, onion and I'm going to add it to this. We're just going to let this cool off. I'm going to put it in a different bowl. Oh, let me just put it in. Okay. It has absorbed all the liquids, but it's not a soggy mess, guys. You see? You don't want this soggy because then you're going to have to keep adding flowers and other ingredients to to compensate the liquids in the TVP and this is just going to keep swelling up more and more you could already tell that when you taste it it doesn't have that crunch that you would have had when we first started to add the water okay ready I'm gonna take some of that And I'm going to put it in a food processor. Here we go. Yeah, maybe a little more. Okay. This is going to cool off for me. And I am going to add some ingredients to this. We're going to put... a cup of oats. I'm using, here we go, organic and it's organic pea protein. There we go. We're going to put a quarter cup of that. And it goes. Now, if you don't have ground flax, you can get ground chia. I'm going to use about a quarter cup. Yeah, I'm going to use a quarter cup of ground flax. All right, so I'm just going to mix this all up, and if I see it's still too wet, I might add some potato starch. 
you want to use maybe some um, rice flour okay so let me just blitz this up and i'll show you what it looks like you want it to kind of get pasty okay it sticks together nicely there we go okay so we're going to put this in with this okay so now we're going to fry up that onion and that onion is going to bring this sausage up to a different level now if you want to add more smoke i say add more smoke now my favorite smoke would be mesquite there's apple smoke also that i like but it's hard to find all these smokes you could even smoke your sausage if you don't have the liquid and you are capable of smoking your sausage you could do that also guys so don't be afraid to smoke your sausage okay so we still have to add ingredients to this i'm gonna just taste it Mm, so good the side not the nicest of onions unfortunately this is going to be a game changer when you put that fried onion in your sausage it's like bang the flavors just explode in your mouth you could even put grated mozzarella cheese there's so many ways you can do it i'm trying to keep this gluten free now you're going to say that's tvp that's like Seitan, well no, TVP is soy protein. It's made out of soybeans, guys. And how the sausage is going to hold depends on, you have to see if you need to add more liquid or if you want to add more dry stuff. And we will let this firm up. You can make them now and cook them tomorrow. Now, see, I wish I had another camera so you could actually see me do it on that end. Yeah, you want them a little smaller than normal but not too small okay so that's one whole onion that we are going to fry up and caramelize so i'm going to cook these down and they're just going to add such a nice sweetness to the sausage and it also separates the tvp from the other proteins you can make delicious sausage at home or you can buy it if you don't have time to make sausage it might be a little expensive but you know what's the price of an animal I'm just going to lower this a bit, maybe add some extra fat to this, maybe some coconut oil I'm going to add to this. Okay. I put another spoonful of coconut oil. There we go. If I get a little bit of coconut oil in my sausage, it's not the end of the world. So that's it. I'm going to caramelize these. Meanwhile, I'm going to grate an apple and we're going to add that to my sausage. This is my favorite, favorite smoke. So I'm going to put, not with the onions, I'm just going to put a little bit over here. Make a nice smoky sausage. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys. An apple. And if your apple gets dark while you're waiting, it's not the end of the world. Because you're not even going to see it. Oh, there we go. Okay, there's the apple. So all I did was add one small apple. And it just helps break down your protein. Mm. And you know what my daughter said to me not long ago, she goes, thank God you're recording all of this, Mom, because if I like something that I ate from you, at least now I have a recipe. Because my recipes change every day. That's how I cook. I cook with what I have. If I don't have it, I don't go out and buy it. I just replace it, guys. Now, I'm going to add just a drizzle of maple right into my pan. I'm going to lower the heat because I want to caramelize them and I want those onions nice and sweet. Mm, so good. Mm -hmm, so good. And we didn't even have to make seitan, guys. That's the beauty about all of this. I'm very humbled by all of you. Uh, because this is how I make a living today. If it wasn't for you guys who come and follow me, I can't even start to tell you how much I appreciate all of you. 
because you really put a big smile on my face every day i really do look forward to every comment that you guys post and i love so far i was able i'm able to reply to most of them i know it's getting a little harder to reply let me just go get some maple for my for my onions that I'm frying up. And I want them almost like candy dust. So I will add just a little bit of my beautiful dark maple. Maybe about a tablespoon of it. Holy moly. Really, really good. Yeah. I'm telling you, vegan food is the best food you can eat. So, no excuses, guys. It's time we change. Our planet, it's a very sick planet right now and we got to do something about it. Start cutting down that meat intake. I did it overnight. I did it for my daughter and it is the best thing I ever did for my family, for myself. I refuse. I told my husband, he like was freaked out when I told him that you couldn't understand why Erica was crying. She was just a teenager back then. She's almost 30 now guys. So that's how long we've been vegan and that was it. And it's the best thing I ever did. My granddaughters, they are the word healthy. And that's what my granddaughters are. And they've never had any animal products. So there you go, guys. No excuses. There's no excuses. Not today. Especially with all the different meats that are out there. When I became vegan, we couldn't even find vegan meats out there. We had to learn how to make it. I had to learn how to make it. And that was it. There was no question. Okay. Show you my onions let me get them here beautiful caramelized onions we're gonna run those through this meat we've got the apple yes that's extra fat but remember guys you want to leave the fat out you can I've made it with no fat whatsoever we're not worried if there's a little bit of fat in our diet if we don't eat I personally don't eat fat that often but that's my choice here we go let's just mix this all up I have to put some hot pepper though. Not enough pepper in here. I know my daughters could have my daughters, my granddaughters. My daughters are used to my hot peppers. They're like, my thank God we're getting used to it. I eat very, very hot. I can't even describe how hot I eat. Oh my god, these are so good. I wish you can taste this. Oh my god. There's a little bit of earth balance cheese I have in my fridge. Why not? I don't have any of my own cheese made. Because we ate it all. I do have blue cheese. But I'm not going to put that in here. Because then my husband won't eat it. Because he's not a blue cheese fan. Don't have to put it. But if you have, I would say use mozzarella instead. Mm. Oh Lord, so good. Okay, so I have potato starch. And I have some rice flour. I'm just going to use a bit just to help with some binding. That's like maybe a tablespoon. Don't forget we're cooking these, so this is all going to cook down. About maybe three tablespoons of. Probably doesn't need it, but you know. Better safe than sorry. I want these things to hold together, and so far they seem to be doing a nice job. Again, I'm going to say these are your sausages. Whatever you put in uh, is going to be, if it's good for you, it's going to be good for me, right? Just going to use a bit because I'm sure this is nice and nice and pecan, for sure. Let me taste this. I don't know. It's not even hot. Oh, well, I cut it, so I'm going to put it in now, but what a disappointment. Well, that's disappointing. I have a whole package. I was like waiting for them to. Go red on me. Ah. Oh well. Live and learn, right? These things are like, I call them the Russian roulette peppers because sometimes you think you're going to get a hot one and sometimes, and when you go taste it, like I just did now, it's like I could eat it like a fruit. It's Okay. Okay, that was disappointing. Okay, some chili powder it is. Hopefully Bella will be okay with that. Oh, I wanted to put paprika. I'm going to go get it. But I'm going to also put some steak spice. I am going to put some steak spice because you get, when you eat your sausage, you're going to get those nice little bits running through it. 
So I've got like two tablespoons of Montreal steak spice. Best steak spice in the world. Except we don't use it on regular steak. We use it on seitan steak. Okay, let's taste this. Mmm, my God, I'm sorry. This is the bomb.com. Okay, so we're gonna wrap these little guys and we're gonna put them to steam and then we're gonna have them for dinner. Yum, 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 okay, let me go get. Okay, so I used to use plastic. You do get the best looking sausage when you use plastic, unfortunately, but We're trying to save the planet, even though, I don't know if you guys have noticed lately, uh, all you see is masks and gloves all over, all over, all over. It's like the saddest thing ever. So the good thing about these sauces is that they're not going to swell up like the, uh, uh, they're not going to swell up like the, uh, the gluten sausages where they blow up. So that's the good thing about these sausages. Okay, I'm going to try that and see where it takes me. Oh my God, I can't wait to eat these. Okay. Can I double this? Can I do that? Let me see. That would be nice if I could make four sausages out of this piece of paper. Okay, if I was making wheat sausages, wheat gluten sausages, there would be no way on earth uh, these sausages would work with this little paper. That's for sure. Okay, I'm just going to push this aside and then I'm going to wrap them with aluminum. So you're going to get quite a bit of sausage, guys. If you don't want to put apple, you can put zucchini. You can put squash. I just grabbed what was easiest for me to grab at the moment. But it does, it just adds some moisture to your sausage. Otherwise, these sausages could be a little dry. These are really good. I have impressed myself today. Now, you see guys, the good thing is making videos for you. Because if I didn't make this video for you, I would not have records of this sausage anymore. Something similar, yes, but <laughs> this recipe would have gone out the drain. And this could be maybe your favorite recipe. This could be the one that you like the most. You don't know till you try it, right? And people say, well, why do you have so many recipes? Well, I have a lot of recipes because that's how I cook. I just make recipes all the time, continuously. I'm glad I'm able to have records of it. And again, guys, like I said, if it wasn't for you guys, I would not be able to do this. And you know, some people say, oh, you're lucky you're at home and all you do is make videos. Well, there's a lot of work involved. Even if my videos aren't like the fanciest videos or videos that have, you know, pretty dishes and it's still a lot of work. I spend so much time in recording, talking to myself in my kitchen, by myself, talking to a camera. <laughs> if anybody would walk by now, they say she's lost it. She finally lost it. No, really guys. Uh, there is a lot of work in making these videos and then producing the video and all that stuff, editing when my dog is barking uncontrollable. So, there is a lot of work, but best work I've ever had. So, yes. Uh, okay, guys. So, now I've wrapped them in some parchment paper, and we will wrap them in aluminum. I'm going to do it the long way so I can twist them on both end. Otherwise... It might not work for me. So you want these to be as firm as possible, guys. So 
go, go, go. And then pinch. Pinch really tight and make that sausage as firm as you can. Twist and twist on this end. And you have sausage number one. Now, how big you make your sausages, that's really up to you. And these won't expand and that much compared to the vital weak gluten ones. The ones where you use vital weak gluten. Those really, you have to be careful that you don't pop those packages. And the best part, when you make stuff like this, you say, oh my God, you're wasting all that aluminum paper. Yes, I am wasting aluminum paper. But the best part is I could throw these, the way they are in the freezer, they're airtight. If there's like nothing has punctured, they're airtight. Grab these, throw them in a plastic bag or just the way they are, or even in a paper bag. I heard paper bags, you get no freezer burn. You won't get any freezer burn this way either. But yeah, you could store them in the freezer and when you need them, you take out two sausages, three sausages, four sausages, whatever amount of sausages you want to take out. So that's a good thing. Someone just told me they made 10 pounds of my apple sage sausage. Wow. Thank you. You made you put such a big smile on my face. This one's got apple. It doesn't have sage. It has <laughs> apple. <laughs> now, like I said, if you don't have apple, guys, you can use zucchini. Or if you don't have zucchini, eggplant. But if you're going to use eggplant, guys, I say fry up that eggplant first. You want to get the water up the best you can because otherwise that eggplant is going to turn your sausage into a messy sausage. It's going to be too watered down. And it's going to have that bitter, watery taste to it too. But here they are. Look at what I'm getting. And TVP is so cheap, guys. When I say it's cheap, it's cheap. I'm going to put a link for you where you could get that TVP that I'm using. Uh, there's also the pea protein that I'm using. Um, it's not expensive. The amount that you get and how many times you use that product, it's like it lasts for a long, long time. Like I take that TVP and I throw it in a pan with a little bit of mushroom powder and some onion and some uh, cumin spice and some chili and you've got instant taco meat. Hello. Easy. One, two, three. Like, you know, and n no animal died for it. That's the best part. I've got one, three, five, and another five here. Like, I've got ten sausages, guys. Now, I am going to put these in my pressure cooker and I'm going to steam them for 30 minutes. They really don't need to be steamed more than, more than that, but I want that uh, agar to kind of help bind the sausage even more. Okay. And I'm going to put these in and these will steam for, I'm going to put them for 30 minutes. Any setting that you have that's going to give you 30 minutes, I think steaming is about 30 minutes and they're going to be just perfect refrigerate them as long as you want you can keep these in the fridge for a long time actually I've had them in the fridge for months believe it or not and they taste fantastic and if you want like I said you have you need room in the fridge throw them in the freezer and when you need you take out what you want very easy to do guys very easy so I'm gonna steam these here we go The sausage has been cooling off. It holds its own. We're going to put two of them to cook for my husband. Well, not cooked. They're already cooked. Basically, we're going to heat them up. Get them nice and golden. And we're going to dress them up. He likes hot peppers and mayo. Here's the other one. pretty much done okay. 
Okay. There we go. I'll be like it very plain. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay. And the sausage. That's one. And he likes his jardinera on top. This one is a very good one, guys. If you've never tried it, that's the one we use. I'm going to have to try making this one for sure. And that's it, guys. Very simple. And we've got delicious gluten-free sausages for anyone who's intolerant. So I hope you like this recipe, and if you give it a try, come back, let me know what you think. Be good, be kind, and guess what guys, I'm going to see you in my next video.